Buckle up because today we've got a ton of news about Outriders. I am so hyped for this one. I really hope it turns out good. Uh, so we're going to be talking about an official word about the next patch, which is going to be coming up here for the game. Plus, we're going to be talking about a brand new dev update about theory crafting in the end game, the end game meta, reducing speed runs on bosses and basically taking advantage of farming and also how the Pyromancer is actually going to be an absolute beast in this game apparently he's weak in the demo but believe you me he's going to be a beast and we're going to be talking about one of the most challenging parts of this game you're going to want to bring co-op partners for what is called the eye of the storm and yeah we're going to revisit the uh, topic of cheaters in the game and how people can fly is going to be handling them and how there's going to be absolutely no microtransactions in outriders hey everyone what's happening overworld games here hope you're doing good and let's do this first of all we're going to start with the official word about what's going on with the next update to the game uh and the demo more specifically now outrider says this a quick update about our upcoming technical patch the patch is still undergoing testing and will not release alongside today's maintenance we will let you know as soon as we have news about the patch release date so there is going to be a new patch which is going to improve the game experience even further there was also a brand new trailer that dropped you can watch it for yourself i'll include that in the link uh, in the description below as a link now let's talk about this recent dev q a that happened for ambassadors of Outriders the game. Let's take a look-see right now. So, first of all, let's dive into the in-game and theory crafting. Goes on to say this, apparently crafting mods and improving weapons is going to be a much, much bigger part of the game than we saw in the demo. This will allow you to push your weapons you have obtained even further. Now, we've only seen a few legendary offerings from the demo, but there are many more weapons and armors to be obtained and improve even in the end game so uh this is super important to note that yeah you will be picking up legendaries legendary armors weapons what have you but you will be able to improve these weapons so if you find your absolute favorite weapon in the game you can keep it in the long term and that's super important and you know people can fly they're very adamant in saying that hey we're not ashamed to say or you know they're actually bragging by the fact that hey the demo is only a slice of what is going to be available in the full game so that gets me super excited uh for this full game now what about actually reducing um speed runs on certain characters like the captain bosses so they actually talked about this right here they go on to say this uh they have plans to reduce the speed runs and farming methods of bosses like goss in the full game it seems like they believe there will be enough variety uh in the game uh, that players will have multiple ways to farm legendary. So uh, that's really good news that they uh, know that this is not going to be the way the full final game will be. You won't be just going in and farming one character. There's going to be a wide variety of offerings in how you will be able to actually obtain legendaries. Right now, they only have like a small slice uh, of information regarding on how people are going to actually take advantage of the game. And I'm excited to get into co-op. As you can see here, this is co-op footage. Uh, so I'm really hyped to actually jump into co-op and uh, take on some of the bigger challenges. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. But first, let's talk about the Pyromancer. So uh, fans have complained that the Pyromancer is, of course, very weak in the demo. However, People Can Fly reassures that the full game will give access to mods and additional crafting uh, that will greatly improve this character class. Now, People Can Fly, the dev team, confirms that when it comes to building your character with crafting and mods, the demo doesn't even scratch the surface at all. So they say the Pyromancer is going to be beastly, especially when you get further along in the game. Uh, don't sleep on the Pyromancer, apparently. So I'm excited to dive into this character class a little bit more. I think he's going to be a bit of a sleeper. As you can see, his abilities are really cool. But, you know, again, right now, he seems to be a bit underwhelming. I myself have been enjoying the Trickster and the Devastator. They are really, really cool. So, yeah, I'm going to dive into the Pyromancer a bit more for sure. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the most difficult challenge in the game. What is it? It is called the Eye of the Storm. And this one is uh, really cool. It's apparently going to be an expedition that is going to be no joke for players. In fact, it is highly, highly recommended that you bring 
a fully cohesive cooperative team into the eye of the storm to really take it on and i cannot wait to see what the actual rewards are going to be and how challenging it's going to be at world tier five that's what i'm really excited is getting up to world tier five of course i think you're going to have to have legendaries already in your arsenal to even attempt something like that perhaps uh, but we shall see but yeah eye of the storm is something uh, that you're going to definitely uh, want to watch out for in this game in the full version of the game now what about cheaters this is like a very hot topic right now and uh people can fly says that uh, they apparently want to restrict cheaters access to multiplayer and all of this by the way is work in progress this is what they're uh, going to be attempting to do uh, now they don't seem to be too worried about players cheating in single player in their own game world they don't seem to be too worried about that but once they enter the multiplayer space things will change of course so people can fly will take action against cheaters uh either by resetting uh their account now bans might also be an option for them but right now they're uh, going to be also very careful about how they're going to be handling this now the definition of cheaters by the way are those that use third-party software to alter the game to gain rare loot more easily if you are a player that's going in and you're farming the game and you're facing off a character over and over again you have nothing to worry about you're still playing the game in a very legit fashion so don't worry it's just that they want to go after players that are actually using this weird third-party software to alter the actual mechanics of the game so that's their problem and they're going to be looking at that so be warned if you're going to be using that type of software you know you've been warned all right now another big topic is that there will be no microtransactions in this game and i think this is absolutely fantastic news that we will not be hounded by microtransactions as we go to a storefront or something like that it's all going to be in game and legit and it's going to encourage players to go out in the world and just have fun now the plan is also to possibly release dlc based on player feedback there's no live service for this game it's not going to be like what anthem was trying to be or destiny is the game will survive based on whether or not players are returning to the game and are enjoying it and want more uh so i you know from the demo they're seeing that that you know it's really good news they're seeing tons and tons of player interest in this game and it's right now currently looking good for the future of outriders and more content down the road let me know what you guys would like to see would you like to see uh new quest lines environments that sort of thing new characters what is it that you would be most interested in seeing for outriders and what could actually hold up this game now there is some information about legendary weapons and a rework for that actually uh, so let's take a look here the migraine and the grim marrow uh, marrow excuse me are seeing improvements now these weapons apparently weren't functioning properly due to one mod not being active now this is going to be fixed and addressed for these weapons they're also looking at the inventory bug which address which actually can affect legendary weapons and make them disappear which is probably the biggest bug in the game currently this is top priority for the team and one of the biggest things they want to resolve before the game even releases so they're just happy that uh they released a demo and they found these uh issues you know right now and that they're actually able to have time to fix it and honestly that's the way to do it uh now what about stashing your gear there's going to be a stash in this game and you will be able to transfer gear between characters so you'll be able to have multiple character uh slots in the game and really goof around with abilities and powers but you'll also have this stash with up to 50 to 100 inventory slots for weapons armor and things like that that you can actually transfer between characters and actually use as like a story center and really build up story so this system also might likely improve in the future so that's something to know as well they're going to be looking at it uh, I remember there were problems, I believe it was, with Anthem and the stash and how much it can actually take up on memory uh, with the game. So they got to be very careful with this. Or it was Fallout 76. I think it was more Fallout 76 that had those issues. But all right, now it's time to go over your top comments. Remember to leave a comment down below. It could end up in a future video. So let's do this, shall we? So what was the last video about? Let's take a look here. Uh, it was about uh, Outriders Big News refuses live service nonsense tripod creature spotted new updates. And yeah, it's not a tripod creature, of course. I call it tripod creature 
creature because of um, the fact that it looks like War of the Worlds. So <laughs> that big creature looks pretty cool, and I cannot wait to face off against it. Now, uh, Armando goes on to say this. Not everything has to have PvP. I totally agree, 100%. If this game never had PvP, I would be fine with that. I actually enjoy the co-op experience lately more than anything else. And yes, I do love PvP games, but it's nice to have something that sets itself uh, apart from, uh, you know, other games. Now, Emperor uh, agrees with this. He says, God, keep PvP as far away from this as possible. Mr. Gene says, I agree. Screw PvP. I would love if it just stayed PvE. That's all. Yeah, you got to remember, if they start diversifying too much between PvP and PvE, that's going to make post-launch content and actually creating post-launch content, DLC and that sort of thing, way more difficult. They got to like assess uh, how are we going to do this? Are we going to focus on PvP or PvE? And you know, I think it should be 100% PvE with the post-launch content. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think. So going forward, I think only way they should ever visit PvP is if they do like some sort of spin-off game with another you know team that they have you know created within people can fly that's just me um uh, you know rambling there but uh yeah uh rick james says this right here i totally agree this game has promise absolutely i think you know i found out about this game through the demo and i couldn't believe how under the radar it has been i personally think it's gonna spread like wildfire when it releases by word of mouth, much like the Souls franchise did. You know, I don't think this game is going to require a ton of marketing. I really hope that it uh, succeeds. But uh, thank you all so much for watching the videos and for supporting my Outriders videos. And of course, I'll keep you guys in the know as to what's going on with Cyberpunk. I promise you guys that I would and I am going to. There's uh, going to be that patch for Cyberpunk coming up. But yeah, I'm staying up to date about Outriders as well. And I cannot wait for this game to drop here in April. They did say that they are on target right now to release uh, in uh, April. So that's great news. But thank you for watching. And I will see you all next time. Take care.